This one is problem number 1.9 from your textbook. It says two equal cylinders, each weighing 900 Newton, are placed in a box as shown. Neglecting friction between the cylinders and the box, estimate the reactions at A, B, and C. So let's start by naming these cylinders. This one is cylinder number one, and this one is cylinder number two. And there is no friction here, so the only uh, reaction that will come on the cylinders is through contact either with the box or with the other cylinder. So if you look at this point A here on this cylinder, we are expecting a force in the normal direction. Let me call this FA. At point B, we are going to get FB. Point C, maybe FC. And at this point right here, there will be uh, interaction force. And let's call this F. D. So on cylinder 1 and 2, the force is going to be towards the center. Now to find these forces, we are going to again apply the conditions of static equilibrium. So let's draw the free body diagram of these cylinders. So if I look at cylinder number 1, the forces that you have in cylinder 1 is 1 force coming from this side which is FC one force coming at an angle 45 degrees here and this one is FD and we have the weight of the cylinder which is acting downwards W this one is cylinder number 1 now similarly we look at cylinder number 2 and draw the free body diagram. Now for cylinder number 2, what do we expect? We expect one horizontal reaction here which is FA, one coming from the bottom which is FB, one force coming along this 45 degree line and this is FB and the weight of the cylinder which is W here. Now for both of these uh, cylinders, what we can do is, we can apply the equilibrium condition which is summation of forces in x and y direction. So if I look at x force, you can see for the cylinder 1, the x force in this case is going to be your FD if you look at this angle this is 45 degrees here so there will be a force FD cos 45 degrees and this will be opposed by another force that is FC in the negative direction so this is the X force balance similarly if you do Y force balance for cylinder 1 FD sin 45 is going to be vertically upwards and your weight W is going to be acting downwards. Now if you apply the same idea on cylinder 2, uh, your X force in this case is going to be your FA which is this one right here. Then we are going to get since this angle is again 45 degrees here minus FD cos 45 degrees equals to 0. Now in terms of y direction force here we are going to get FB going upwards minus FD sine 45 degrees because this is going to give a downward force and we are going to have the weight W acting downwards. Now if you look at uh, these conditions <coughs> from this right here the second equation that we have we can directly write down your FT value to be W divided by sine 45 degrees which is nothing but W square root 2. Now once we have FD known, I can substitute FD in the equation number 1 and if I substitute FD equals to W square root 2 there 
and then cos 45 is already 1 over square root 2 minus fc equals to 0. So this gives us fc equals to these two cancel out so fc equals to w. Now likewise if I go in the third equation here and substitute the value of fd there which is w square root 2 times cos 45 again 1 over square root 2 equals to 0 this gives us fa equals to w and from equation number 4 we can find the value of fb minus w square root 2 1 over square root 2 because of sine 45 minus w equals to 0. So these two cancel out we get fb equals to 2 w. Now the value of w is given in the problem as 900 newtons. So the answer to this problem will be fa which is given here equals to 900 newtons fb which is here 1800 newtons and fc which is 900 newtons and the fd force which is the interaction between these two that is 900 square root 2 newtons so this is the final answer to this problem